All right, welcome. Thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we have, we hope you're having a really relaxed uh, day and that you've had some time to take a big exhale after the school year, uh, the, quite a crazy school year. And our goal is to keep that vacation feeling going today. And so we think that we'll be able to do that by showing you more about script form. So today I'm joined by Andrew Weiner from Thomasville County Schools. Um, he and his team will be using script forms instead of their traditional paper process for their back to school forms. So um, I'd like to welcome Andrew. Hi, Andrew, how are you? How are you doing, Bridget? Thank you. Very good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for, for uh, joining us today. Um, I want to start by um, just letting everybody know that we're going to just basically go over script forms and script form benefits today. So Andrew, tell us a little bit about Thomasville City Schools. Sure, so Thomasville City Schools is in Thomasville, North Carolina. We're a city school and we have only four schools. We have a pre-K through third grade school, a fourth and fifth grade elementary, and a middle school and a high school. And we only have 2,300 students. Okay, and what is your role? Actually, as of today, I'm the Chief Learning and Accountability Officer. So I, I did get a promotion uh, last school board meeting. So I oversee, uh, um, before I oversee all the testing and um, worked with our, state, our power school coordinator to do uh, power school and our SIS system. But now I've expanded to curriculum now. Well, congratulations on your promotion. Thank you very much. Sounds like you are going to need that vacation that you're going on after this call today, and uh, it, rightly so. <laughs> All right. So, Thomasville City Schools is going to be implementing Scrib Forms as a part of your new back to school process. Can you tell us what made you go with that decision or how you came about that decision? Sure. We started with scribbles last school year. Um, we did scribbles for enrollment. We did scribbles for requests for records, for document scanning um, and record searches uh, at a district requests and also student releases. Um, we felt like that we struggled like every other district to have a fluid flow of back to school forms. Every school hands out forms at open house. You know, we're Parents are reluctant to fill it out. One form even for every child. For example, if I have three children, I'm filling out that same form three times, handwriting it. So we just wanted a, a fluid process that we could do electronically and we could get it in the hands of our data managers and update our uh, SIS system more efficiently. So we wanted to use Scribbles as that, as that process and that flow. Perfect. Okay, so um, I talked with Tom, who is the project manager for your team, and he shared that um, you're gonna be using the occupational survey, the housing status, the home language survey, and the transportation request form, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and so which one of these is the most difficult to get back from students? Well, the occupational is just a migrant form. So that's just asking our new enrollees, our parents if they're migrants, so that can qualify for some more support. Um, housing is for McKinney-Vinto students. So that, that's essential for funding also. Home language, again, is just to see what our home language for our English learners. The transportation is for if you need busing. So that's, that's kind of, it's probably, I would say all four, that's probably the best, you know, it's most important because our bus routes are, you know, determined through our transportation request forms. So, I mean, I think all of them are crucial, but for us as a fun to function for operations, that transportation is the most essential one. Especially before school to get that yes, back. Yes, exactly, right? back to school, exactly. Absolutely. Yes, we definitely need that before. And that's why also we're planning to open up our back to school forms um, before even school opens. Uh, we're doing summer school, obviously in North Carolina, every district doing summer school. So we plan to open up our back to school forms a week, the last week of our summer school. So we can kind of encourage our parents to even get online even before the end of the summer school and get all those forms completed. We can do our bus routes and we can update our contact information. So if we're doing, we want to contact parents about open house, we have accurate, you know, phone numbers and email addresses. And you said that's already gone out or that will be going out? That will be going out the last week in, in July. That's our last week of 
summer school, our first day of school, the next year is August 16th. So that gives us a good, you know, three weeks that parents can go online and fill out these back to school forms and we have accurate information so we can communicate with them effectively. Okay. And so how do you normally get the forms? Like every other school, we, we make copies, we put them in back to school packets at open house, and we pray and hope that parents fill them out, bring them back to their classroom teachers, and they're handed into the office. And that's another reason why we wanted to go electronically um, is that the, the trail off of hands, you know, we give it to a parent, they take it home, they bring it back to a teacher, teacher may collect all of them, may misplace one, put them in, the, you know, bring it into the office. Now, if they're on scribbles, our data managers can see them directly. They can download the responses of the script forms and they can just update that RSIS right from there. So it's less hands and again, you know, security of data too is a, is a great, you know, increased usage. Absolutely. So I think you, you pretty much answered this question, but um, how will the script forms help? And um, will it eliminate or change the process for how you get those forms now? So I, you kind of just spoke to that. Is there anything you'd want to add? No, I, I just think it's going to be, yeah, it's definitely going to help the workflow. It's going to get it in the right hands a lot quicker. Um, I love scribbles in our, even our back to school or in our enrollment is that parents can do this at home at eight o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. Um, I saw last year when we did scrib and roll, you know, we had parents enroll their children at 10 o'clock at night and fill out the scrib application. I mean, that's just a benefit that I've seen. A huge benefit of scribbles is that parents can do their inconvenience, you know, at their convenience. We want to be a customer, you know, schools are customer service oriented. So, you know, having a parent be able to fill out the form when they're when it's convenient for them is is a great benefit. And I think that's going to help with our scrib forms and it's going to speed us speed up our process. That's a and to be honest, parents, and to be honest, sometimes it's hard to read handwriting of parents. So having electronic type it in, they can do it on their laptop, they can do it on their cell phones. We can, it's legible, we can just, and it's just import right into, into PowerSchool or SIS. Right, and especially with the enrollment, it pre-populates too. So they're not having to fill out the address five times. It's yeah, exactly. Populate, yeah. Yes, ma'am. So what about, um, the security of student data. Well, that increase. I, I think that increased because less hands are are having the having that information. I mean, a teacher could drop that form in the hallway. You know, a kid could drop it on the bus, returning it from school. Now it's just secure through the internet. You know, not many people are going to see that information, and I, I think student data will be less more secure that way especially medical forms. I know a lot of our school districts are using script forms for medical forms. And so I know parents will probably be very appreciative that their student um, information and data is not going to be, you know, kind of like you said, um, collected and, and given to many hands. Correct. And, and we're, using, we're even using it for athletics. We've decided oh. to put our athletic forms on scribbles um, and parents can just download the athletic eligibility forms or medical forms and they can just download it, print it out, send it, you know, bring it to the doctor, and then either upload it in Scribbles or hand it into a coach. So we've we've enhanced that even more. That's great. That's yeah, that's even better. So what would you, what advice would you give um, for somebody that's maybe considering script forms? Um, I mean, I, you, I think you can tell from what I'm saying. A clear workflow would be great. Who's going to handle it? Who's going to be responsible for downloading? you know, the script forms and putting that data into our SIS or, or creating the, the transportation, you know, bus routes, I think a clear workflow, because we, that was one thing we struggled with is once we get Scrib um, applications, who's going to pull that application? Who's going to create the, the, the schedule first? And then who's going to put, pull it, you know, the data manager pulling it into our, our SIS. So I think we have, a, if you have a workflow, who's responsible for doing what, what job in what area, that will make that will make this job a lot easier. Okay. And any other advice? Anything you'd want to share before we end our time today? I would definitely, you know, be a great proponent, and I think I would support Scribbles. Your team is amazing. You're very helpful. You're knowledgeable. I mean, I've had we had Tom. Now we have Matthew as our 
as our customer support person and, and on our team. They both have been wonderful to work with. They're very accessible. They're very responsive to our needs. I mean, I, I've been highly pleasant, you know, pleased and, and very happy with the, the service that we, we receive from Scribbles. Well, Andrew, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's a joy to have a partner like you um, that's willing to come on and talk about this and, and share um, how our team has helped and just how the products help overall to do your job a little bit easier, better, um, more efficiently. So we are just very thankful for you and your team as well. Thank you very much. And thank you um, for joining us today. I know you said you were going to be going on a vacation and taking some time because you're only doing, um, this is your Friday, you're doing the 410. So a 10 hour day is, is you definitely deserve your Friday. Um, and which do you, do you care to share which beach you're going to? Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach, very nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, I do want to thank you again for telling us about your school district. I'm just going to summarize our time today. And um, we just thank you for, for working with us to change up your back to school paper process and uh, letting partner or Scribbles be a partner in your work. Uh, before we end today, I just want to recap Scrib Forms for everybody. So they make the paperwork and data collection process easier for the school district, as um, Andrew shared with us. They allow families to sign and send with ease, so there's no trying to find paperwork, maybe in the bottom of the backpack. Um, and on the screen, I added some of the most popular Scrib Forms, like the medical forms that school nurses love because they actually get that medical information quickly and in a secure way and also um, like a school handbook so parents can sign off or families can sign off that's a really popular one so if we can make life easier um, and keep you in that vacation mode uh, we want to do that we want to help so in closing i'd like to thank you andrew again for joining us today and everybody else that was able to join us today if you have questions please reach out this webinar has been recorded and we'll post it on our youtube channel Thank you to Thomasville City Schools for sharing with us today, and we hope you have a great rest of the week and a wonderful 4th of July. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.